Okay guys, now I'm gonna program the robot using this very simple Arduino code. This is not something very complicated. The first thing you need to know is that in Arduino you need to include some libraries which are going to be used in this code. The first thing is wire.h. This is the library which is used for I squared C or I2C uh, communication, which is normally like you can see in different projects. And the second one is the library for out of fruit PWM servo driver. And um, in some cases, you need to install them before using it here. So for this purpose, you need to go to sketch, include library, and manage libraries. Now a window will pop up here and you can write the name of the library and then you can install it very easily. Okay, I write the name here. Uh, you can see that this library is already installed, so there is no install button here. But, for example, the other one, you can install it, whatever you want here. Okay, then you just install, everything is done. Close the window, now you can start programming. And uh, here, I just created again, an object called PWM from the class out of road PWM driver. This is going to be used in the following steps. Um, in these four lines, I just said the base potentiometer, shoulder potentiometer, and the other ones, they are going to be connected to the first analog input of the Arduino, second one, third, and the fourth one. So you can use the other channels. This is up to you. And servo channels on the driver. I said that the base servo is going to be connected to the first channel. The shoulder one is going to be connected to the second one they start from the from number zero so zero means the first channel one means the second channel so here you can see that we have um, five different servo motors for five different parts four of them are the joints and uh, the last one is the gripper you can also work with i think around 16 channels you can connect to whatever you want and here I define the minimum and maximum degrees or pulses for servo motors. I set all of them minimum to 150, 150, which is um, zero degrees and um, 600, which is 180 degrees. This part void setup, I just set a five seconds. So we have a delay five seconds so that the controller can uh, start positioning and the PWM frequency to 15 hertz, 50 hertz here. And um, the gripper server channel is closed. I mean, when you turn the robot on, um, this is closed. The gripper is closed and this is 90 degrees. And um, I defined uh, like a push button for the gripper. So I connected it to the 13th digital input and I set it to pull up. So you can install to whatever you want, digital inputs, but I set it to number 13. And um, here, this is the loop, like I better say like a circular part of the program. Um, there's a cycle and um, I read the value of each potentiometer. For example, the base potentiometer value is read from uh, analog, re uh, um, analog read base potentiometer and we know that base potentiometer is A0 so it's like I can say analog read A0 analog read A1 and uh, the value goes to shoulder put value so you can also define different names and uh, just try to use uh, meaningful names uh, in these four lines, you can see that I've mapped the value that I'm reading from this part, which is um, already from 0 to 1023, which is the value of each analog input. And I want to map it to base servo mean, I mean, map it um, to a value between base servo mean and uh, base servo max. So I do it for the rest all four uh, servo motors. 
And this part, I generate PW impulses and I just send those pulses to different servo channels like base servo, shoulder servo. So at this point, we have some commands sending to servo motors. So for example, the first servo motor goes to 10 degrees, like whatever uh, it receives in each cycle. And uh, the last part is for the gripper. I said, okay, the gripper push button, which is something like the gripper controller is connected to the digital pin 13. And I'm checking here. Uh, if it is low, it means that this is like a normal case. I didn't press anything. And the gripper is closed. 180 degrees. And when it is high, I mean the else case, then it means that the gripper should be open. So it goes to 90. Very simple. And um, I can control the gripper using this part. Uh, if everything's okay, if you want to add anything, you can add it. Or if you want to remove anything, you can remove. But everything is okay now. I go to this. This is the, There is a checkpoint here. I click on it. Then uh, the program will be checked for any possible syntax error or something. Now you can see that done compiling. So the program is compiled. And uh, you have to connect your Arduino using a USB cable, then go to tools. Here you have to set your Arduino. I've already set it to Arduino Uno. You can also work with Arduino Leonardo, but uh, I have the Uno, Uno one, so I use this one. And then AVR boards or whatever you have, then find your board here, like Arduino Uno, and the port which is the like the port that the Arduino is connected to, like COM5 Arduino Uno. I select this. Now we can see that port and board are set correctly. The only thing is left is to press on this button to upload your code. After a couple of seconds, you can see that done uploading. It means everything is okay and the program is uploaded on your Arduino. And uh, let's go to test our robot.